Like, so apparently you all wanted to know how to um, activate a, a, um, a script. So I have scripts available on on my um, GitHub repository here. I've got a few of them. Not not all of them, obviously. Um, there are a few I uh, aren't worth um, doing mainly because they're just unfinished or whatnot. Um, I just put the nice ones to have on there, um, or useful ones, you know, ones you can look at to learn uh, and to learn from. Right, so here I'm go I've got a little dab.txt, it's in the Minecraft light config common macros. So you've got your dot mark, dot Minecraft light config common macros. And you go down and you've put your dab.txt in here. You don't have to have to actually put a script file in there, you can directly create your uh, scripts in game by creating uh, uh, your dab.txt here by clicking dab and then create. Um, but either way, if you've dragged and dropped the dab.txt in here, you'll have it in your list. If not, you created the file and you've opened it up and this is empty. If you've already dragged and dropped it in this list on the side, you'll already have the code in here. Um, so no need to copy and paste anything. Um, all right, so this is a very easy, simple um, piece of code. It, what it does is loops once um, the dab, so it'll echo dab one, wait half a half a second, and then dab a second time. Ten ticks is twenty ticks is one second. All right. So um, just gonna cancel out of that. You usually want to save, but after editing, by it, I didn't do any edits. All right. So now you have the macro keybind mod installed. Uh, you'll have this bar at the bottom. You won't have the little dab button. You can create buttons by going in the GUI editor and playing around with that. I'll show you guys at the end of the video if you're interested. But right now I'm focusing on just making you dab when you press a button like that. So the way I did that is I went into the edit key bindings and went, I pressed on P. So for example, if I went click on O, you want to do dollar 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 and put curly brackets like that. And in here you will have, in here you will have your um, text file. So usually, you would you just put a bit of code in there. So you, for example, you echo code and save out. And of course, well, if I press O, it'll say code in chat. Now to ha to have it um, actually have a file, you want to replace the echo. Um, function with the actual file, which would be dollar dollar, um, and then dab dot txt, and it turns orange when you've done it right. Don't forget, don't forget these extra bits on the sides. All right, um, let me just uh, save, and now when I press op, it'll run the script twice. If I press o, it'll run the script. Oh no, press p, it'll run the script. All right, now if you're not, if you're not have a dab button. To run the script like that, you want you'll want to have your own little um, GUI editor, and you can edit this GUI, or you can edit this GUI here. First off, let's edit this GUI and uh, have it how you want it. So let's add a but add a button. You can add lots of things. I'm just going to do the buttons for now uh, here, and you you know name it dab. You can mess around with the colors and everything. Let me just uh, let me just delete it like that. Right, and I'll be editing this one. So, right, so in the GUI editor, once you've made your button, you want to input the macro binding for it here. You can also add the macro binding um, to events. So here, so when you pick up an item, it can run a script, or on chat, you can also run a script. Anything here can any 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 event can help. So if I was to throw bedrock on the ground and pick that up, it will say picked up bedrock. It's pretty simple. Um, uh, I think that's all. That's everything. And I'm just going to say goodbye.